one more community call, the first one after summer. So we will have um, another one in November, in December this, this year. Uh, so it's always a, a place to to provide you um, information about some novelties, um, uh, ongoing developments in in the in the provide uh, service, in the related uh, uh, open air services, um, and with the, the services from open air related with the um, activities of, of providers of content for to, to open air infrastructure. So everything around the open air provide dashboard and then some other things related with, with this, like the, the guideline. For example. Um, so for, for this session, our idea was just really to, we didn't um, decided to discuss any topic. Usually we have one main topic for discussion. Uh, open air graph or the broker service so we decided just to highlight some some, uh, some novelty some updates uh, also to, to demonstrate one feature that was uh, requested since a while I, I must say that almost since the, the beginning of open air um, the dashboard of open air provide dashboard the multi-user access functionality and then to, to get your feedback for some some new features that we are working on and we we would like to have your, your feedback. But okay, this is a community call, so always open to discuss other topics. If you have any doubt, any other topic that you want to, to discuss, feel free to, to, to ask, okay? Um, we have time uh, during the call or at the end, so one moment at the end for discussion, but whenever you want to ask questions, just um, just write it in the chat or please join because this is a call it's a community call so join the connect your audio and and ask and talk with with me so um this is the agenda um and let me let me start with um okay let me see what what is happening here this is why i'm i didn't want to have this surprise uh, okay, so uh, recent um, news from 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 provide uh, multi access functionality is uh, finally working and available, which is which is really great. Um, in the beginning, we we said that this was really important as an improvement from from the provide uh, dashboard, but uh, we didn't. Uh, have it as a priority then we decided that this should be a priority but have different other dependencies of the the federated authentication etc that we have solved and now it's working uh, well from the tests that we know so if you have any issue we'll demonstrate this in in, in two or three minutes uh, a remind for all of us that uh, the the fair um, the the we have a feature with the fair assessment in the available in the validator, so please use it. I will let me let me share here in the in the screen. So uh, here in the validator, um, in the in the validator in the in the validator area where you can test the compliance of your uh, data source against our guidelines. So for for literature or for data repository, there is available. Um, uh, this fair assessment box here to perform a fair assessment of your metadata is a, um, a simple uh, uh, validation. Uh, interesting, uh, I think. Uh, so we and it follows the same process of all, all the other um, compliance tests. So it's interesting, and you can get a, a report with, with feedback. So if you are interested uh, on that, okay, you can ask questions, but um, we have the, um, the recordings from the previous uh, community call that in fact was dedicated to this, um, to this uh, new feature here in the, in the provide dashboard. You have the slides and the recordings, but if you have questions, so we, we are able to reply to your questions. Uh, the, the other, the other, um, the other novelty that we want to highlight is regarding the, um, the guidelines uh, for uh, something that we are working on. Uh, um, 
my colleagues from 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 University of Bielefeld that are part of, of this important task of, of, of updating the guidelines already presented in the previous community call also during the open science fair we 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 share that we really want to get your your feedback so um, if you um, uh, let me just If you um, if you wish to to share your thoughts, so just uh, go to this uh, link. Um, they are available. I have it open here. Um, the guidelines uh, website of Open Air, so you can you can access this uh, this draft uh, and and check. So there are also here the, the way that you we, we can get your feedback so you we have a google documents that my colleague andreas that is also here um set up uh, and i think this is this is quite useful um i need the help from someone okay i will mute it okay um so this is uh, i think uh, something really important so we want to to um, the idea is in fact that we want to integrate this kind of things like the fair enabling in also in our, in our guidelines uh, to to see these guidelines as uh, an integrated uh, an integrated um, guidance for us where we have not only the where we merge the guidelines for literature repositories and the data repositories in one single document because this is the, the challenge that we have. Uh, lots of, of content providers of open air are in fact providing literature and data or other kinds of, of research outputs, uh, software records. So this is really important that we can, um, we can uh, merge this. And uh, so we have already here a, a version covering some of these things. And so it's good if you, you are willing to to check what we have done to make comments questions so feel free okay from in terms of, of of recent news this is what we we want to highlight so if you are interested in the fair assessment uh, that we have in as a better uh, thing so just check the, the recordings from previous previous um, call so let me check we can share here the links in the chat uh, some of these links um, Maybe it's good also if we share the, the link for this presentation already during, my, during this call. Okay, perfect. So, um, feel free to ask questions. Um, I was checking the chat to see if there is questions. We have also a, a Google document. Um, we can put in the chat also if you have questions. Um, not sure if my colleague Andre can help me with that, sharing here the link. Yes, uh, I will share the links. Mm -hmm. okay. Perfect, Andre, thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, about the, the, the multi-user access functionality, I will demonstrate it, but just three highlights, um, the way it, it, it works. Uh, so um, we have the... Um, this is something that is really relevant. You, as a, a provider of open air, have access to the provide dashboard. Uh, you have one single, uh, one single login uh, to manage your data source and to have access to all the features. Uh, so, the, to update the, the information of your repository, to check the the, the broker metadata events, uh, to check the um, the user stats information or to enable that that service um, to check the monitor history but uh, so you can now provide access to other people to, to do it and to update the admins of your of your uh, data source in open air provide so just go to update where we have an area to update where we update also the interfaces if you have a new OAF image interface you can use this and then uh, you can update and, and uh, invite other people to become an administrator okay of your data source 
so it's a simple it's a simple integration of a registration of an email okay what is important here is the the the, the thing that is not so simple is that um you need to make sure that that email is connected with uh, uh, an account, an open air account. Okay, uh, this is important. So, this is not um, an invitation. Uh, due to some limitations in the way that we can solve this issue of the multi-user access, we decided uh, we, we set up it in this way. So it's quite simple. If if you have a user. Uh, someone that have already an account of OpenAid that you want to add an admin, you just invite it and it works perfectly. If uh, you want to invite someone that don't have an account, first they need to create an account in, in the OpenAid website and then you can invite uh, him or her to become uh, an admin of your uh, data source in, in OpenAid provide dashboard, okay? Simple, but with this, uh, uh, sorry, with this, um, God. okay, with the difference, okay. Let me let me um, do a quick uh, demo. Yes, using the um, Google Chrome. So just to check if you can see my screen, uh, I was not. So you can see my screen. I was not sharing on with the. You can yes, see yes, the, the dashboard. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So, um, the place where you can uh, update this is in the, um, you can add new admins in, the, in this area of the update, okay? Um, and uh, you can update information, you can update interfaces, and there is this part to update the admins, okay? Just ensure that you invite uh, someone to, to do this, um, I will invite myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, now, so you just need to invite someone that have already an open air account. This this person will receive an email, and uh, this information will be recorded here for your knowledge. Okay. Um, it's a simple process. It's something that is, was requested. I hope that it works. If you have any issue, just um, say it now. If, if you want to test it right now, then I'll stop. test it because then we can solve any issue that um, that we have. So this is a simple way. I think this is quite important. What what will happen is that now. Uh, not only the person that have access uh, to the to, to this account have access to all the the information of, of, of the dashboard but also to other things so um, in the account of, of of this admin a new repository like this one will 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 have, be okay there for 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 access um, let me check if I Let me check if I can. I need to. I think I need to log out. Yes, it's better if you log out and then log in. Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, I'm not sure about my email, but <laughs> let me see if it works. If it doesn't work, we test with another. If it doesn't work, it means that uh, it's here, okay. I, I was not sure if I, about this, my mail, if I'm using another because we changed the account. Okay, so it's already here in my in my, in my my data sources. Uh, the University of Minio repository is already here available for me. And then I, in fact, can have access to this, exactly the same things that the, um, the, the account of, the original account the the owner of this data source have 
So I'm using here uh, Firefox just to test my Pedro Prince account. And in Chrome, I'm having the Uminio account, University of Minio account. And so University of Minio account only have one, one repository. In, in my personal account, I have other repositories. So uh, I have already access to University of Minio uh, repository. So it works, as you can see. Uh, I, I didn't test it before. <laughs> I just <laughs> it's a live demo, uh, so uh, we can uh, we can do that. So, uh, for example, for our data repository, uh, we did it. Um, I already did it uh, with my colleague Andre, if I remember well. Yes. So I invite others to become also managers of this data source, the data repository of our uh, university. And uh, so I was the original one, the original person to validate, to register this data source. And now Andre and Paula also have access. So please check, uh, hope it works for you. I think everything is working. The, the, the question is really this part that we, that we alert uh, here is that to make sure that the user already has an open air account okay with the email address that you are inviting if it if if um, if he or she have so no issues with that okay this is interesting in order to avoid uh, sharing uh, accounts like uh, like uh, some people do uh, sharing uh, passwords of, of different accounts so this is better because then we can uh, and and this is really important because lots of for different scenarios, uh, use case scenarios, people that are leaving the institution, these kind of things. <laughs> so this is really interesting. Um, okay, let me see if we have questions here. We, we have one question. I think you are ready. Yes. Sure, yeah. Yes, okay, uh, I didn't reply exactly, but uh, yeah, I, I, sh I show, yes, uh, this is, uh, so they have exactly the same, uh, same the same rights. They become, they become um, an admin uh, of this data source, um, like the, the other, the original one have. We can improve that. Uh, Julian, uh, your question makes sense uh, to have um, uh, different levels of permissions, uh, but uh, for us it was uh, a bit um, uh, more uh, uh, more work, to, and to, we need some improvements based on the structure that we have. Uh, but we decided to release as soon as possible because this was something that lots of people were asking for. Uh, but um, Feel free to to share your your thoughts about. Uh, I can imagine some use cases, but Julian, if you have in mind any uh, specific uh, use case scenario that you think that it's uh, so, you as an administrator have access to all things, and the 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 other people only can view. For example, uh, this is something that we can um, we can uh, we can improve. So in the next. Uh, developments for this feature i think it's good if we we do it um it will be a benefit but for the time being um, all the all the features will be available here okay so i remind once again about so if you don't see if you have a login in provide okay provide.openair.eu and if you don't see data sources here as you expect it to see okay um, just contact us uh, and we will provide you the information so what is the account connected to your data source or uh, how to change it uh, so please contact us directly we can to facilitate you can contact us so you can send an email to my colleague Andre you can do it via the open air desk, but you can also do it directly to Andre. Then we, uh, in a simple process, we can update that. Okay, um, so this is what I want to share. Um, it's also this is also interesting from 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 some cases that we have people here that are, for example, um, members of open air, uh, uh, acting as a 
a national open access desk they, they can support um, some repository managers at the national level so sharing sharing this kind of, of permissions so i think it's it's good if we can if we can do it and the same for some of uh, some other um some other use cases at the national level or institutional level i think a, a normal case is that for for big universities so usually having only one account is critical so we have different different people for example from different faculties that uh, may want to have access or need to have access for example for the um, the enrichments um, to set up some notifications to receive to receive enrichment metadata in order to to update their their records their content so this is clearly a very good um, a very good feature for that for these cases uh, so faculty departments in universities so i think this is quite interesting and even for some uh, services that are um, uh, deliver at a national level i think this is also great uh, as a facility okay so in the chat um, no more questions my colleague andre already ah brianna yeah brianna brianna is a, an, an open air uh, national uh, open access desk for serbia I have 24 repositories in the account <laughs> uh, yeah, Brianna, sorry for that. Sorry for only now have this feature available. It will save a lot of time in the past for you. Yes, it's true. <laughs> but now it's here and you can you can make use of it for other purposes, but not for your personal. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um not sure if there are questions in the in the in the in the document. If you want to put questions in the doc or maybe things that you want to address in a different way, so you, you can do it. Okay. So now now the idea is that we we discuss uh, some topics uh, about the. Um, okay. Uh, about the. Um, for the discussion, uh, the idea is, is to, to just to share things that we are working on and the, if you want to share your ideas, feedback, just, uh, just do it. <laughs> Connect your audio, just give your feedback. So there are uh, two things that we are working, there are several other, other things, but there are uh, two things that we, we, we want your, uh, your that your input is is critical um, it's about the um, uh, registration process and about the the, the user stats uh, it's information and, and to get your feedback about the, um, uh, let's let's first start with the 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 one that maybe it's easier and the, and my colleague Dimitris if, if if he wants to to join is the the product manager of, of the user statistics um it can it can join so here what we want to highlight is that um we we are we are pre we have the um, the users let me check here using the university of mino account to make it more easy what we have is that we are already uh, we are prepared we are ready to 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 deliver information uh, compliant with the counter uh, release five okay uh, and we are preparing uh, the information here to make it uh, visible um, in the um, here in the user statistics uh, service okay currently uh, so we have this this uh, simple information and you can get statistic reports basic on but based on the the, the the counter reports that we have available uh, but we are preparing things to the, the counter uh, five dimitris do you want to explain us what are the types of reports that we will have available um if you if you wish yes. to join yes, yes um yeah hello um I have just posted a, a link uh, from the uh, counter code of practice release 
five reports that will be offered in this mm -hmm. uh, new interface. Um, uh, the main reports, uh, in, instead of this uh, uh, list, we will have uh, uh, four types of reports, uh, new types. Um, the one is which is, is called the um, uh, uh, platform report, which will provide uh, the main information for uh, uh, repositories. Um, uh, uh, we will offer the um, uh, platform master. Uh, this is called platform master report. The other report is platform usage report, which is mm -hmm. um, again an aggregated report for uh, uh, repositories, which are which is broken down by uh, metric type uh, as defined by counter. And uh, when we say metric type, we the metric types are. Uh, uh, the number of views, the number of uh, downloads, or the number of uh, uh, um, uh, unique views and the number of unique uh, downloads. So it's a kind of an aggregated uh, uh, report, which is a, a new report offered by Counter Code of Practice. Um, we, uh, we will offer the platform item report, which is similar to the report offered now for the Counter uh, Release 4, uh, which is a report uh, for uh, 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 for each repository and uh, you can select repository and the particular item that you will uh, want to um, uh, uh, display the statistics. And finally, we are offering also uh, the counter data sets report, which is the, uh, a specific report for, uh, for uh, data sets. So uh, this, uh, these reports can be checked on the, the link that I have just uh, posted and um, maybe uh, by, I think by next uh, uh, month or maybe uh, mm -hmm. during November, they will be available in this uh, either phase two. Okay. Perfect, maybe we can share as a novelty, even if we have it in beta, we can share it in beta uh, to people to already to, to test. So the, the main idea is, um, to keep these uh, reports uh, also available uh, as a functionality here, but to have as the as the, the main uh, uh, reports the these uh, two reports that uh, Dimitri has mentioned. So we will keep this one, but we will have new. Uh, we are redesigning the page here in to ensure that it's more um, easy to use, but based on these new reports, I think this is an important improvement. So. Uh, if you didn't have um, enable this service, uh, you, you can use it. So I, I can, in fact, I have here, uh, let me check one thing. So to, it's quite easy for you to enable the, the service um, in the in the users here, you will receive uh, information. Uh, uh, okay, this one is interesting. Okay, let me check first the other one. <laughs> and then I can explain everything. So the process is, is quite simple. So you uh, just receive instructions uh, to enable the service. You can enable the service uh, here, uh, enable metrics here in the, if your repository, if your data source uh, don't have access yet to this service and if you want to test it or to, or to make use of it, uh, the process is explained here. Uh, so this page to enable the service is available for those that then don't have the service enabled yet. So you just need to enable the, the service. Then you will receive and the information uh, available for you will be similar to this one, to this case that uh, I have here. Let me just, just to open, okay. So providing the information about the ID and authentication code and uh, uh, some some other information uh, if you depending on the the type of um, software platform that you that you have and we are available to support you in this process okay after that uh, enable um, perform what you need to perform in your in your site in your platform uh, you will have access to the to the service uh, similar to what you you are seeing now here in the for this specific repository from from University of Milan. Okay, thank you, Dimitris. Um, the the uh, if you have questions, just just ask. Feel free. 
the other um, the other topic is about uh, the the registration uh, process. Uh, currently, currently we we have the registration process uh, quite well defined for these four types of um, of data sources: uh, publication repositories, data repositories, journals, and aggregators. Literature repositories and the the data, the data repositories we use an authoritative directory so data repositories the list is provided by v3data the the the, the first source of, of information and the process initiate only if the repository is registered in v3 data and the similar situation using open open door for the literature repositories um what we want to 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 ensure is that we are working on the, the registration process for CRIS systems aligned with the directory from EuroCRIS. But what we, if you have any remark, any idea about that, any strong opinion, just share it here. What we are working the, trying to define, uh, it's the work that we are going to, to design during October, it's the, the catch all uh, registration. So uh, we, we are aware, and uh, this is the reality, that are um, lots of, of uh, hybrid uh, repositories that are they have all types of uh, research outputs. In fact, uh, several institutional repositories are becoming also hybrid, are becoming catch-all. They in, in, initially they are only uh, for publications of for literature, but now they are also. Um, um, available for researchers to deposit the research data or to register uh, software. Uh, so uh, this is becoming more 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 uh, tricky for us based on this uh, simple process that we have established in the beginning. So we want to allow registration of catch-all and then to play with the, the different uh, directories that are part of uh, open air so we will also integrate um uh, apart from from open door and and and, and v3 data so we have the, the DRIES from eurocris and also fair sharing so um this is this is what we want to ensure because currently what we have uh, is that because of this process of registration um it becomes our life uh, uh, more difficult to manage and and for some we have two entries we have uh, an entry for a, a, the data source to collect publications and an entry uh, another entry of the same data source to, co to 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 collect the data so what we want to ensure is that we have this catch all if you have any strong uh, just for you to know we are working on that uh, for sure we will provide you more information in the coming meeting but if you have any strong opinion i see that already bit is here looking forward for the catch-all <laughs> we have publications research that increase functionality in, in one repository okay uh, do you want to share uh, sorry for uh, i don't know the, the the name of the repository maybe i should <laughs> but uh, if you want to share your case, I think it's good because we 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 like to have pilots. <laughs> uh, just just share your your. Um... Ah, okay, Tor. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Uh, great, great. Let's we will we will uh, we will uh, use your case as a pilot, like like others that we we are in fact using. Um, so. Um, yeah, this place Chris from Jordan, yes, <laughs> for sure. Uh, you can you can register in, the, in also in the in the new DRIES registration process. This is a this is a situation that we uh, the process itself for the registration. It it it, it the workflow can be simple. Uh, what is critical then is all the. The way that to collect the proper uh, the proper specifications interfaces in order for us to be able to aggregate your your data and transform the me the metadata. Okay. Um, yes. So thank you for your availability. Uh, I have already two suggestions here for for us to test. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh,
Oliver. Um, and, 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 and and Beat, if you want also to, to share your, I'm not sure if it's the same, I suppose not. Um, okay, this is what the, the, the two things that we are working on. Um, my colleague Andreas, Andreas uh, if you want to say something about this, just feel free uh, if you have anything um, additional to what I said, just feel free or to share some some of our adopts with the, with our community so feel free to to jump in and to and to share some of your thoughts so these are the two things that we are working on so the this novelty is in the reservation so what we want to to share with you because it was not shared before in any of the community calls is about this catch all so for Chris systems we are working on and we in fact we are already playing in beta with this I hope that we have soon as soon as possible novelties for those that are that have Chris systems um, the tools to, to implement it here and for but for the catch-all I think it's interesting you can also we can also discuss this um, designation of catch-all hybrid repositories whatever you think that is better to call it so we are the community we can uh, we can find um, a better better name for it <laughs> okay um, so just let me see here just again this um, this slide to finish the meeting so not sure if there is uh, any um, there is any any comment in the in the document and not yet the... not yet okay no problem anyone else want to share some thought let me <clears throat> see if i if i cover everything yes yeah may i say something yes yes okay so during the open science fair i attended almost all these demo sessions uh, as for the um, uh, open observatory also the statistics one etc and i think that uh, this is not only my case that it will be good to have one community call explaining the um, repository managers how the data flow from their repositories to the open air and forward to the observatory or statistics or that kind of things. I think that the people do not understand quite well. Everyone mm -hmm. knows this nice um, schema about what is included in um, uh, open air graph, etc. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that everybody understands, and I admit that I do not clearly understand how the data uh, are after that accumulated in all these um, reports. Yes. Not not just for the usage, but uh, my point is an open science observatory. Maybe this is just a suggestion for some of uh, other next meeting. Yes, many thanks, uh, Diana. I think I think it's a great suggestion. Uh, it's true. I think I um, this kind of uh, of uh, for the observatory for sure is important. This kind of um, of discussion around what we do with um, with. Um, what we do with the information uh, in uh, uh, that are part of our infrastructure is quite important, uh, and what we do uh, with the information from the content providers visible in the observatory, I think it's it's a great suggestion. Uh, let's let's uh, let's uh, dedicate one one call also to that or, or to have it also as as a, as a topic in an additional in an upcoming uh, community call. Um, I must say that during the Open Science Fair, I had lots of ideas for topics of discussions during the open air, the, 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 these community calls, also related with um, 
Plan S from 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 Open Door, uh, from some work around also from that NIFUS, the the European project NIFUS did also for uh, policy um, policy recommendations for repositories. Uh, so this is one 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 more. So now the the, the, the I know that the observatory is, is publicly available, and there are lots of work uh, around also within EOSC for the development of this observatory. Maybe it's the right moment. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I promise to have it in in this year for sure? And then uh, let's see if it's in November of 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 or December. <laughs> what do you think, Liana? You agree with this approach? I cannot hear you. I am more than happy with this very active approach, <laughs> approach. <laughs> thank you, thank okay you. <laughs> no no because I, I i admit that is this is important this is critical because um you are right the type of questions that we receive when when pre people like like us that are part of this uh, community uh, providing content to open air usually have is that uh, why why the information in the observatory is in this way um if I have it in this way in my repository, or if you collect the, and the, what is the what is the this um, path from from this the provide the integration the availability and explore and the, what we can see in the observatory. So you are right. Everything yeah, yeah. around statistics numbers this is critical. So you are right. And uh, and uh, and also clarify what are the limitations based on the content, the type of content that we we provide. What are the limitations then to put it uh, and to and to uh, work that information to make it feasible in the in the observatory. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, um, any other? Okay. Then we have. One question here from from Oliver about should the validator for Chris be working already? Um, is throwing some very ugly errors. Ah, the validator. Okay, okay. Sorry, I, I was reading when I tested against Tor, which I believe are not our fault. Okay. Um, the validator is working well. Uh, in terms of 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 a test against the the the, the guidelines, uh, so we can uh, we can check with you the type of errors. Uh, the errors are all, always ugly, <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> uh, when we find errors in the validator, so but we can check. I think it's uh, um, from from tests that we made, they are working well. Of of course, we know that. It's much more challenging the testing of CRIS systems compared to pub publication repositories. Uh, so sometimes there are differences based on the um, on the interfaces that you shared. So feel free to to, to ask questions uh, to share. So we can uh, if you did a, a test recently, uh, we can check it uh, with you and then and reply. So Andre, Andre, just, just uh, can we, can we, uh, maybe, maybe we can have access to this uh, test, uh, or, or we ask uh, yes, Oliver. Uh, if, if, okay. if Oliver can share with us the URL that uh, I've received by email with the compatibility results, we can check, we can see and check yes, the yeah. errors. Okay. Okay. <laughs> open. Open. Okay, Oliver. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we will come back to you. Um, okay. Perfect for me. From from our side, it's all. So this is was really a uh, that that type of of community call after the summer, just for you to be aware of this progresses we made in the last months and some novel these things that we are working on and to receive your feedback. So one suggestion for a community call uh, and um, some novelties in the upcoming months regarding this registration process and also the use of statistics um, 
feel free to put more questions. Uh, I will just take the opportunity to invite you to the upcoming community call. So we have one scheduled for the first Wednesday of November that will be on the 3rd of November. Okay, same time. And um, check if you, I suppose that you are here because you, you are aware of the community calls, but you also receive the newsletter. It is where we always send a reminder. So uh, subscribe if you are not a subscriber or, or disseminate this newsletter for other colleagues in your country that may have, or in, in your institutions that may be, uh, want to receive this newsletter. So always a simple newsletter, three, four articles. Um, uh, but but I think it's it's relevant for us for our community. Okay, um, one more question here to from from uh, from Julian about the um, any news about the new user interface. Thinking about new options to accept the client suggested requirements. Yes, uh, no news. <laughs> No news uh, about that. So uh, Julian is asking about uh, so these parts of the enrichments in order for us when we receive uh, notifications or when we have uh, information here that we can uh, um, interact with these suggestions to clean our our dashboard in order not to have always uh, all the, um, the suggestions um we 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 can we can we can um, so we don't have we are aware of the um, three four things that are critical that people think that they are important one of them was that one and in fact the the first one um but we don't have uh, any progress as, uh, yet in terms of the um, the dashboard user interface uh, so for the um, uh, to avoid this kind of things when you receive notifications in order for us to collect because uh, to in terms of user interface uh, we can say okay uh, it's quite simple we can uh, we can uh, change some things and it's then we clean the dashboard what is the the visible part for the end user, but we need to uh, collect this in feedback from you. Okay, we need to collect that uh, this is an error or this is something that it's not from your interest. And collecting this feedback, we avoid to send you again the same information in the upcoming notification. So we discussed about this already. <laughs> uh, we didn't find the clear, easy solutions. Um, we find solutions and we have solutions, but easy uh, to implement based on the available time from our technical team <laughs> to make it clear. Um, so, but thank you for, for making this issue visible once again, Julian, because this is important. And I, I know that this is useful. Um, uh, Sharing your thought, uh, make this uh, uh, a topic for uh, an upcoming uh, provide management uh, meeting. So we will talk about that again, and uh, let's see if we can have more information in the in the next meeting to make it uh, when we we can do these things. So we want to have always some things new uh, to improve the the, the dashboard, um, and you see that there are some new things that we think that they are the critical ones for the time being but we can always uh, check the priorities and, and decide different things thank you julian for your suggestion okay um i already invite you to the next community call to subscribe the newsletter from my side is all so andre already shared some links here so we will come back to you oliver about this um Provide this uh, test comp um, compatibility test with the, the CRIS guidelines and provide you support if needed. Uh, and uh, this comment from Julian and the suggestion from Brianna, I noted so. 
thank you very much for being part of this community, for being part of this meeting. Um, hope that it was useful. I talk a lot, so. <laughs> um, but um, thank you. Okay. See you in one month. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Okay. Bye bye. Thank Thanks, you all. Pedro. Yeah. Thanks.